Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Aquarium where I have been uh, fiddling around and messing around and moving around lots of different creatures so we've now got this big old tank full of uh, beautiful stingrays with their colourful companions and we've got the Wobbegong shark all on its own over there because uh, it doesn't have no friends I got no friends I eat them all so I want to decorate their tanks a little bit. I want to decorate the aquarium around them a little bit. And then we will move on. Uh, we are... Wow. So many things that we are researching right now. What will you eat? You'll eat anything up to a size of about 17 or something ridiculous. Yes. Yeah, 17. So you have to have fishes that are bigger than 17. What I will hopefully do later on is uh, the southern stingrays will grow up to a size of about 40. So what I want to do is put the wobbegong in with the stingrays. And then that should solve that. That should uh, fill the tank up a little bit more. Now, the Wobbegong is uh, very hungry right now. Needs lots and lots of food. Food, I think, will be on its way. But we do need to put a platform in. Okay. Good to know these things. I'm thinking, actually. Oh, come on. Make me a, st make me a low down platform. My goodness me. Why do these things never work? The heights need sorting out on this properly. Uh, so the stairs wouldn't work there, but having two platforms works fine. They just pop up there and pop up there. So, we have everything they need. Crabs. Hmm. Maybe not. Make sure there's some close by. May as well have lots of different dispensers, because some of these big animals do eat an awful lot. And we do need a cave. Okay, cave. Let's have a gaping cavern. You're a big fish. You need a big cave. <gasps> Do I not have enough money? Oh, I don't have enough money. Okay. Someone come feed this fish. Like, seriously. These guys need a bit of, like, foliage. They're fine other than that. Uh, you need 12. That's a bit of feather clooper in here, maybe. Okay, now I have no money whatsoever. So, hopefully someone will come and feed the shark and then I can make enough money uh, to put a hidey hole in. Ooh, you tank. Very nice. Let's... Ooh, what else have we got? Let's just research everything all the way through. I'm going to reach rank 12. We're not even on rank 11 yet. Good grief. Right, how much does a gaping cavern cost? I don't technically need it. I, I could make do with a pitted column, but... Yay! Happy shark! Did no one... Feed the shark? Oh, oh, shark's getting fed. Yes. Oh, supplements are needed as well, apparently. Alright then. Right then, supplement cabinet, here we come. As soon as I have some money. There are other supplement cabinets in the aquarium. As soon as I have some money, I will do that. I'll also check my messages. I need 600 Scooby dollars. We are operating at uh, a massive... Well, not a loss, really, but we're operating a tight budget. Let's put it that way. I keep spending all the money. The uh, prestige is going up quite fast, though. People are obviously liking the, the shark and stuff. There we are. Shark cabinet. Right. Messages. Level up, level up, level up. Ooh, 5,000 now and base prestige, 300 after. Be big bellied seahorse. Okay then. I'll do that. Leaf scorpion fish for sale. Live mysis shrimp. Plant lover. Cave lover. Congena zone can cannot be housed with non lion fish and scorpion fish. Okay. Well, there's three of them and they are leaf scorpion fish. I 
done the spotted boxfish. Pick next research. Uh, what do we want now? Let's uh, unlock that coral. Get all the level 8s out of the way. I, I may as well just unlock everything I can. Penny, Pancho and Isla have all leveled up. And Dante. Oh, it's all going too fast. Too fast. Feeding. 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 And feeding. Okay. Let's go and have a look at my... Uh, my scorpion fish styly tank which is over here somewhere I think got some where are they where are you is it over here what have we got over here then we have a voltan lionfish and fuzzy dwarf lionfish okay and one of my voltan's lionfish died so I only have one now how empty is this? This tank is quite full. Uh, what I could do though is give them a new tank, which is bigger so we can fit more stuff in. How big are these new ones? They are only three. Oh, okay. I could put one in already. How big are you? You are five. So if I got rid of five, then I would have room for it'd be 51. I'd have nine space, which would be perfect for these guys. Oh, why don't we do that then? We'll sell one. Bye bye, fuzzy dwarf lionfish. Whatever you are. Right, so now I've got 51 in the tank. It's a deal. Clear my cursor before I accidentally sell them. Pop them in here. Hoorah! Right, so they need to eat mice shrimp. And they need another cave in there. Oh man. They might need a gaping cavern actually. I might need to rearrange their furniture a bit. Okay, never mind. Let's get the mice shrimp first. Mice shrimp culture! So let's have a think about this. If I sold the netting and the that thing, then I would have plenty of room for another cave over there and that would be fine. Maybe a pitted column actually. Make it a bit different. Wonderful! Awesome and wonderful. Do we have any more staff we can hire? Loads more stuff we can hire. You are good at feeding. You are good at feeding. You are good at feeding. You are good at loads of things. That'll do for now. I don't want to run out of money too much. So we'll just keep a little eye on these guys. Make sure they're okay. And then we'll maybe have a, a look at the big bellied seahorse tank. That might be quite nice. We seem to be consistently getting towards level 11 as well. Loads of different fish that we can put in here still. Seems to be getting people up here a bit more, which is great. I want to decorate. I'm going to get some more shipwreck paint in here because, like, at the moment, these tanks all suck. There we are. It's better. And apparently toilets are needed around here as well. Alright then, that's something that we can look at. Paint all the walls. Probably a toilet around here would be good. Let's just demolish this wall. Pop in a nice deluxe... Have we got deluxe toilets yet? I don't even remember whether we'd unlocked those we have the Lux toilet also one over here because I like to be symmetrical even when I don't need things they have to be symmetrical that means that that filter now doesn't have a place to go and the way to fix that would be 
to pop this. Um, over here, probably, actually. We've got enough, like, uh, we don't have any fixing, fixing benches over there, do we? Um, so let's do that, because we probably need a few. Stop them having to walk so far to get their toolboxes. Most things seem fairly well fixed at the moment. And those that aren't seem to have someone on the way to fix them. Except for this one. Oh no, even that one. So that's fantastically awesome. Oh, uh, looks like that's struggling a bit. So what we probably need to do here is, for some reason we have a feeding thing over here. No, feeding things go against the wall. And then I could probably put another filter in. We have a large protein skimmer there, that'll help. Sometimes they just need a bit of extra love, a bit of an extra filter near them, but I try to keep it to the minimum as much as possible and keep all the filters at the back. Possibly with the big filter fixed it might not have been such a problem, but you know, we'll keep that there. We need quite a high um, filtration for my little baby seahorses because they're really cool. I love them so much. Okay. I'm just going to play it a bit so that we've got some money coming in. I, don't, I think everything's alright at the moment. The last thing that I fiddled with was the scorpion fish. And they look alright. They look fine. So that's good. Right. More paint. More shipwreck paint. Oh, you can paint under the tanks! It was that a recent addition to things because that's amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. We shall get the large pump researched. That will be really interesting, actually. That should open up quite a few more options for me. May need it for some of these uh, tanks that are going to be coming in soon. I'm really excited now because we're getting towards the point where there's a lot of fish that I won't have seen or used before. So I've got to level... I've been to like level 10 and 11 before but I haven't always had a chance to use all of the fish. But getting to level 12 means I pretty much will be able to. Okay, let's uh, go to rank 9 and get the last few bits there. Finish off this uh, little piece of decorating and maybe we want to put some maybe a seating area up here would be nice uh looks like we are a bit short on filtration on that tank there why is that where's its filtration coming from oh is it cold water no warm water so Oh, I see why I've done that, yeah. Because we've got a whole load of cold water stuff going on. And we're going back to warm water. So I didn't want... Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe if I pop... Um, are we, have, we done, have we done the UV filters yet? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe a wee nitrate reactor for there might just give it a, the boost it needs. No, it hasn't. No! No! What I need to do then is move all these over here so there's room for a filter right next to the tank. I hate having to do this. It's really annoying. There. Lovely. Okay, okay. Is everyone getting fed? Uh, we are struggling for filtration over here as well. Which is kind of annoying. Okay, this whole side is cold water. Alright then. So for a little bit of warm water down here. So... 
could set oh my goodness look at all these oh wow this is this is why i've got no filtration everything has grown everything so we bought those we haven't done that yet grown grown eat tank makes up to size seven i don't think there's anything in there that's size seven this tank is full of massive fish the lump sucker is not happy in there because there is another muscle eater present oh no i'll have to sort that out in a minute benny has leveled up benny get better at feeding gabri get better at fixing turbot has grown lump sucker has grown other lump sucker has grown stingray 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 they can eat tank mates up to size eight Feeding, feeding, turbot has grown, pie crust crab has grown, Hadley feeding. Got some level six feeders here, which is great. Okay, cool. A um, bit worried about those lump suckers. What can I do with you then? You are size six, you don't like other muscle eaters. Okay, with the stingrays, which are, no, oh, there's their warm water tank. Can't do that then. Right, um, what about here? This tank, this tank is full. Right, okay. What about here with the wolf fish? That tank is nearly full. Right over here with these guys. That tank has some room, okay. So do you guys eat other fish or anything like that? You eat crustaceans? You eat crustaceans, okay. So you wouldn't eat a lump sucker. Do you eat... Cockles and cockles, they're not muscle. Oh, is it muscles? Yeah, cockles. Let's have a look at the lump sucker itself. That needs. It will eat crustaceans with the size two or less. However,. The crustaceans we've got in here. Um, no, we don't have crustaceans in there either. That's fine. I think they can go in there, actually. I think I've looked at everything. That would be an issue. So let's have a quick just observe of them in the tank. They seem happy. Yeah, I think that's, that's helped. Cool. 92% visibility up here, 75% up here, 62 and 53. So the visibility is getting better, which is amazing. Let's have a little look at the guest foods that they've got. Have got the Froyo machine yet? No. Put some more balloon shelves and stuff up here. They might want another balloon by the time they get up to here. You know. They might be bored of their copper band toys and need to buy a balloon. And I'm thinking they might want like somewhere to sit and a popcorn machine or like a... Hmm. What's have we got for you? Yeah, I'll put some popcorn up there. Maybe some coffee on the other side. Popcorn and coffee! Popcorn and coffee for everyone! And then I want to just make sure that everyone's getting fed each day. It's definitely a thing to check. There is a lot of feeding to do. I'm actually just feeling a little bit like it might be better if I hired a couple more people that could feed. Just hire everybody. We're making loads of money, right? Leveled up. Feeding! Seven! Thank you! Everyone needs the toilets! Kill these surgeon fish. Very nice. Emperor angelfish, please. 
Gonna have to find some tanks for these guys. Uh, I don't know. What's the biggest chiller we can do? Mega chiller. Okay, no super mega chiller. Oh, pump is done. Right, UV sterilizer and calcium reactor. What does a calcium reactor do? Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what it does. Increases coral growth. No, don't want that. I want something that actually filters. Helps achieve a higher water quality. I want you, thank you very much. Yeah, then we need to make a big bellied seahorse thing and that will give us an extra 300 base prestige and I think that is well worth it. Got loads of money in the bank, which is really good too. So time to expand, I think. There's a lot of management at the moment to make sure that the existing fish I have are happy and safe. to get rid of these walls I think and just build some proper walls in around here and as usual whenever I'm expanding I always make sure that everything is paused because that's just the easiest way to keep guests out of keeping their noses out of places that they shouldn't be looking at yes I'll decorate it while it's playing though right and another wall over here as I say I like no actual reason for it. You could just do this layout without the walls. I like them because I feel that they give you a good separation between the feeding areas and the filtration areas. Although I have broken that rule a little bit with some of these filters and things. But what I'll try and do is get some big nitrate reactors and things in here and then be able to take them away from here. I wish I had... I wish I had bigger nitrate reactors. I don't think there are bigger ones on this level anyway. Annoying. UV, ser UV sterilizer will be good because it's a whole different thing at that point. Oh, a t-shirt shelf. Mm, that'll be good. Extra buckaroonies for me, that'll be. Okay. So I need room for the seahorses. Now, let me see. Big belly seahorses. Have we actually... No, we have not. We have not started to uh, research them even. They are three to six, so if I wanted how many? Four of them, I need a tank of six, twelve, twenty-four. That's actually tiny. Teeny weeny. And they need to group in only themselves. Okay, they're congeners. They can't be housed with non sea horses and sea dragons. Sea dragons! Oh my goodness, they're so cute. We could have another Creasel tank with the fried egg jellies in. We've got the Ribbon Tail Ray. But we've got so many things. Oh, cancel. We've got so, so many things that I haven't even put in yet. Ah. Oh, the Stingray's 18, size 18 now. Are they big enough that they can go in with the other? Ah, you're 20. Very nice. So can you go in with the Wobbegong Shark now? I think you can. I'm gonna put you in there. Are you 20? Yes. Are you 20? Yes. And are you 20? Yes. Lovely. So we've got a load of Mirror Anthea and Regal Tank. So I should be able to put a bunch of different fish in with these guys. See, this is that was the plan, you see. The plan was to grow these guys so that the shark wouldn't eat them and then pop them all in there so that they would look nice. You see? There you go. All right. You need sand deals. All right then. Might put a little sand deal dispenser right next to them so that they have their food. Lovely stuff. All right then. So these guys, what do you eat? Orange pellets and supplements. What needs supplements? Krill. Orange and supplement. Okay. I might just make sure that those are right by their tank. Well. Orange pellet. Uh, and. Hmm. 
am I doing? Supplement cabinet. Lovely. Right. So how much space do I have in here? I have like loads of space out of 225. I still have quite a bit of space in here as well. So I want to fill these tanks up with cool things. So what have we got that hasn't been... We don't have any of yet. Got you, 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 got you. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. Don't have a blue and yellow group yet. We'll eat smaller fish. Starts off at size 10. Oh, that's an issue then, isn't it? Because uh, it's going to eat small things, but then I can't put it in a tank with the Wobbegong Shark because then the Wobbegong Shark will eat that before it grows up. So it might need to go in its own tank for a while. So I'm going to leave that blue and yellow grouper. Remember that. I kill these surgeon fish. It is a, a size 8. It doesn't eat anything particularly. It needs 48 to swim around. It likes rocks and stuff. Absolutely no reason not to pop one or two of those in there. Okay, next. Regal Tang. Regal Surgeon Fish. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Got you, got you. You, got you, got you, got you, got you. And you, and you, and you, and you. No spotted box fish. They are size 5. They don't like other cockle eaters. Got any cockle eaters in here? Why don't... Why are they unhappy? Don't have enough plants. Don't have enough rocks, so that's fine. I'll sort that in a minute. Boxfish is armoured and has a size of 10. I wonder if I can put the coral grouper in with the longhorn cowfish. Maybe. I'll go and have a look at that in a minute. But these guys, as long as nothing eats... Cockles, we're fine. So let's have a look at what everything eats. So you eat green pellets. You eat krill. You eat orange pellets and supplements. So that seems fine. Foxfish, in you go. Couple of you. Right, uh, next. Now I can't put anything with cockles in there now. Gotta remember this, gotta keep this in my head. Why are the regal tang unhappy? Oh, they don't have enough plants either. Okay, that's fine. Uh, got you, 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 you and you and you, and you and you. Oh, we don't have any marble starfish. We've got those guys. Toadstool leather coral and the marble starfish. Fish eating an enemy. So it's all just corals, really, apart from those little starfish. Um, are there any starfish eaters in there? Is that a warm water tank? It is. I don't think there's any starfish eaters in here. You don't eat anything. Oh, too much stuff in the way. Get rid of everything. Including the, the fishing. I just need to know that there's no starfish eaters in here. So, do you eat starfish? No. Do you eat starfish? No. Do you eat starfish? No. Do you eat starfish? Yes. Rats. Okay, let's have a look at other tanks then. Ah, hang on. Hang on. Do you eat starfish? No. Do you eat starfish? No. Ha ha ha. So I can put them in there actually. And say anything about them eating starfish in that tank. So that's where the starfish is gonna go. Have a couple of those guys. Right. That's looking quite a cool little place, actually. You're, you're gonna die if you don't get any vegetation. No! Best put some vegetation in there then. Put a kelp at the back, maybe. Nothing like a bit of kelp at the back. Yeah. Everyone's happy now, look. Rocks. Oh, let's get some rocks then. Any interesting looking rocks? Some live rocks, maybe? A couple of live rocks. There we are. Wonderful! What a lovely tank you have. Might do some decorating as well. This tank looks really bare because it's got no vegetation in it. But maybe do some cool stuff with nets or something. So I took some nets out from somewhere else recently. 
got a lantern, we've got Aztec blocks we could put in there, we could put a can do you want a cannon in your tank? Yeah, cannon in your tank. A skull. This is where the bad fish go. Pirate chest. Pirate chest? You gotta have nets and a pirate chest. Some nets over there. Little like pirate chest in there somewhere. Definitely a pirate chest. Well, I said pirate chest enough now. Yeah, probably. Anchor. Pirate chest. <laughs> Where is it? Pirate chest. There we are. Right in the middle. Pirate chest right in the middle. Now when we look at their tank, it looks really cool. Look at all that cool stuff they've got. I think the nets and the cannon need to be changed over, don't you? Yeah, yeah, we do. We need to change over the net and the cannon. They're in the wrong place. Okay, so net. Oh, actually, I'll pick up the cannon first. Cannon. Move you like around the front somewhere. Oh, we have just leveled up. I think. Have we? Yeah, yeah. We have just leveled up. To level, I guess, 10? I thought we already were at 10. Anyway, never mind. We've got a canoe, an Easter Island head, Aztec wheel, purple queen anthea, turtles, lemon sharks, eagle rays, flame pipe fish. They look really long. Different corals, a large UV, a mega nitrate, and a mega light. Wow. Awesome. I don't, no, I hadn't. I must have just clicked on it. I genuinely was like, I haven't leveled up. I must have just clicked on it. I was all excited there. But I was just being silly. Now, move the net to the back. Move the cannon to where the net was. I think that looked better there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good display. You think we should put some plants in anyway, just in case? Give a bit of like a bit of colour or if nothing else. Right, cool. I like that one. That one's well decorated. So uh, yeah, we had boxfish over there. Um, there's the boxfish will eat coral as well, which is a bit of a pain. These rounded tanks as well won't support coral. So I need to find a nice square tank that's maybe even already got some coral in it. Like this one, for example. So if there's any cold water corals, let's see if they're cold or warm water. I'm just trying to get all of the different fishies in and make sure that they're okay. So we've got the total leather. The fish eating an enemy will eat fish with size 2 or less. Well this tank has huge fishes in it. I don't think it's going to be eating any of those. Well it's sharks and wolf fish, I think it'll be fine. I'll stick one of those in there, maybe two. Okay. Next. So we've got those. Frilled and enemies, we've got bubble tips, we've got discos, we've got toadfish, sorry, toadstool leather. Needs to go in wherever the disco mushrooms are, I think. Let's find the disco mushrooms. Where did I put those? In with these guys. So I figure if these guys are okay, then one of these will be fine too. Seems alright. Uh, fish eating an enemy, are you looking alright? Nah. Seem to be looking alright. Cool. I really need to get these big belly seahorses going, don't I? Got a message here. Fred has leveled up. Fred, feeding of eight, please. Oh, sorry. Fixing. Fixing. Fred be the awesome fixer. Okay, I still need my big belly seahorses. That will probably get me up to my level 11. I hope so. It's taking me ages being on level 10 right now. I haven't really been, like, 
playing with prestige so much though. To decorate this tank. Was there anything else I hadn't got so far? The only thing that I haven't found a place for, I think, was the grouper, the blue and yellow grouper. So you can't put it in with fish, it needs to be in a warm water. And only one of it can go in. Do you go in with the panther grouper? I probably could actually. Let's go find my panther groupers and see if we'll go in with those. If there's enough room. I did put loads of corals in there. Struggling a lot for uh, 28 out of 30 as well. Oh no, no room for you in there. No room at the inn. What about this tank? 52 out of 60. How big is the coral? Goes up to 24? Gee, that's huge. Alright then. Alright then. Uh, it eats fishes with four or less. So the big tank over here would be the ideal place to put it to start with. It's a big warm water tank over here. Where is it? This one warm water tank? Yeah, it is. Hmm, interesting. So what do you guys all eat? You eat crustaceans with size 12 or less. That will not affect them. You eat fish with size 6 or less. That will not affect them. You eat fish with size 10 or less. Okay, that will be a problem until it grows one. So what I think I am going to do is make a tiny little tank that's only like 24 big, right? What I will do is put the grouper in there until such a time as it grows okay and then i'll move it to whatever tank because it's going to be able to go in with these guys at that point when it's size 24. then i will use my size 24 tank to house my big belly seahorses is that a plan or is that a plan that's a plan so what kind of tank am i gonna have we could have a lagoon tank size u 32. Nah, uh, I'm kind of thinking a little wall tank somewhere. I'm always thinking kind of at the start. Don't really have much room down there though. Hmm. It might have to be up here. Maybe a couple of tiny little lagoon tanks, uh, not lagoon tanks, but tiny little wall tanks just popped into the wall there. Oh, you know what I could do, which would be really quite pretty. I did the deep outcrops. Yeah, they're 56 big though. I don't know if I, I don't know if I mind that too much. Be really nice. If I just uh, removed the coffee machine, popped it kind of there, one on each side. I like that idea quite a lot. Yeah, let's move this coffee machine against the wall there, maybe, and the popcorn machine over there. Remove two pieces of wall. Boom, boom. Maybe make this a tiny weeny bit bigger. And then put in a outcrop tank. I really like that idea. Now then. It needs to be hooked up to warm water. Oh man. I need a pump to hook it into there, I think. So let's just do that. I mean, these large pumps have a very, very big uh, 
radius, don't they? A very big uh, area that they can travel. So I'd easily be able to put a large pump back there. N uh, nip it into there. Nip it into there. It can do like four tanks at a time. It's amazing. Honestly, I could probably put a triple pump back here, right? And possibly... Yeah, I could, you know. But put a triple pump here, right? And it would be able to reach all the way over here. I could get rid of these. I need to go into this one as well, I think. Whoa. You. To make sure I've got the right pump selected, but get that into there. Once everything's sorted. And then I could put massive pumps and things onto the, onto it. Another mega double filter onto there. And then maybe a large nitrate reactor in between. It's in there. Then I could probably get rid of this, I'm hoping. Well, that was good. I liked that. That was awesome. These triple filters are good because you can just put loads of stuff around them. And I could even put more stuff around this one as well if I wanted to. Are there any fish that I still don't have now? Oh yeah, I still don't have the blue and yellow grouper. That is going in this new tank. On its own. Because it doesn't have any friends. Let's give you a little cave as well. Is it a column? Will that fit in there? Yeah, right at the back. Need a, a sand deals and a platform. Platform could just go there. Some steps and get some sand eels behind there. That's all of the different fish now. Great. What staff do we have? We've hired them all. That's great too. And all Olive has leveled up. Olive, get better at fixing. You can fix things in two seconds flat now. So as soon as this has grown up a little bit, we'll start researching the big belly tea horse next and grow, grow up the yellow grouper and everyone will be super happy. At least that's what I hope. Except these guys, they're not super happy. They don't have enough filtration. Why don't I see if a large nitrate reactor at the back of here will help them? Yep. Visibility. Three percent visibility. No one likes that cave. I think people are like going around there and looking at the seahorses though. Just don't think they like the grouper all that much. Do some decorating. More shipwreck paint. I do like whatever patch they put in that meant you could paint under tanks, that's a good patch. Woohoo, Emperor Angelfish, okay. Uh, big belly tea horse next. And then we'll go back and do the hermit crab. I want to get those seahorses in. That'll probably be next episode though. So all I feel I've really done this episode is just kind of like decorated a couple of tanks and went through all the fish to see which ones I could add but I think I need something a bit bigger in here I think I feel like this this particular tank is a little bit full of 
full of nothing really. It's full of tiny fish. I think they might actually be better off in a lagoon tank. If I could get a lagoon lagoon tank that's about a hundred, like the one down the the one down here is like a hundred, isn't it? I could put those fish into that. Well, not into that one, but one of a similar size. I'm thinking the lagoon tank of this about size, eighty-eight. Mm. Might need to be a tiny bit bigger then. But I think I can do a lagoon tank of about that size. If not, I'll do a U tank. Um, because I think they can be a bit bigger. What's happened now? Claire has leveled up. And is feeding level 9. The cuttlefish has grown. It can now eat tank mates up to size 5. I really wish it would centre on it when you clicked it. So everything in the cuttlefish's tank, though, looks to be absolutely gigantic. So I think it'll be fine. It's 8, 19, and 18. Yeah, the mackerel are the smallest thing there. That's fine. Okay, Atlantic cod has grown to size 21. And it may uh, contribute to lowering the water quality. That's fine. If that happens, I'll add more filters. And the other cuttlefish has grown. We've checked the cuttlefish out, though, so that's fine. I'm trying to check things out as they grow because... It doesn't tell you like what things you can put in, you know, if, if they'll grow to a big size and then be able to eat each other and things like that. It gets a bit annoying. So, like I say, as soon as this guy grows, which you should do, you're gonna go over here, in with all the sharks and stuff. And I'll probably um, try and save some space in this tank, um, repurpose it, put in some bigger fish, and move these fish into probably a little U tank or something like that, something of about a hundred. Because I think that, that it's hard to see them, you know? They seem a bit, like, lost for space in there. I think this is a tank that's needing bigger fish. Anyway, that's the plan. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. We'll get to the seahorses next time. We will get uh, these fish put into their U-tank. Or, well, no, actually, that's only 56, so that's still not big enough. Um... We'll find something else that we can put in a tank to maybe mirror this one. We'll put a U tank in. Then we'll put some other stuff in here as and when we, we discover it. Or I might be able to find some, some bigger fish that will go in there that won't eat their tank mates. We'll have to see. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a thumbs up below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and I will let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.